Fat malabsorption, also known as steatorrhea, is a condition in which the body is unable to properly digest and absorb dietary fats. This can occur due to a variety of reasons, such as problems with the pancreas or bile ducts, certain medications, or digestive disorders such as celiac disease or Crohn's disease. The symptoms of fat malabsorption can vary from person to person and may depend on the underlying cause and the severity of the condition. However, some common symptoms of fat malabsorption include oily, greasy, or foul-smelling stools. Stools may appear greasy or oily due to the presence of undigested fat. Diarrhea, the excess fat in the stools can cause loose or watery bowel movements. Abdominal pain and discomfort, fat malabsorption can cause cramping, bloating, and discomfort in the abdominal region. Unintentional weight loss, the inability to absorb fat and other nutrients can cause weight loss. Nutritional deficiencies, fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E, and K may not be properly absorbed, leading to deficiencies and related symptoms. Weakness and fatigue, a lack of essential nutrients can lead to general weakness and fatigue. Anemia, malabsorption of nutrients can also lead to anemia. There are several possible causes of fat malabsorption. Some of the most common causes include Pancreatic insufficiency The pancreas produces enzymes that are necessary for the digestion of fats. If the pancreas is not producing enough enzymes, fat malabsorption can occur. Bile duct obstruction Bile is produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. It is necessary for the digestion of fats. If the bile ducts become blocked, fat malabsorption can occur. Celiac disease, this autoimmune disorder causes damage to the lining of the small intestine, which can lead to malabsorption of nutrients, including fats. Crohn's disease, this inflammatory bowel disease can cause damage to the lining of the intestines, which can interfere with the absorption of nutrients. Short bowel syndrome, this condition occurs when a significant portion of the small intestine is removed or is not functioning properly, which can interfere with nutrient absorption. Medications, certain medications can interfere with the absorption of fats, such as Orlistat, a weight loss medication, and cholestyramine, a medication used to lower cholesterol levels. Liver disease, certain liver conditions, such as cirrhosis or hepatitis, can interfere with the production of bile, leading to fat malabsorption. Infections, certain infections, such as Giardia, can cause inflammation and damage to the lining of the intestines, leading to malabsorption of nutrients, including fats. The treatment of fat malabsorption depends on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. Some possible treatments include Changes to the diet A low-fat diet may be recommended to reduce the amount of fat that needs to be digested and absorbed. In addition, supplements of fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin A, D, E, and K, may be prescribed to help correct deficiencies. Enzyme replacement therapy. If the cause of fat malabsorption is related to pancreatic insufficiency, enzyme replacement therapy may be prescribed. This involves taking pancreatic enzyme supplements with meals to help with digestion and absorption of fats. Medications. In some cases, medications may be prescribed to help with fat digestion and absorption, such as Orlistat, which blocks the absorption of dietary fats. Surgery. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to correct underlying structural abnormalities, such as a blocked bile duct or a shortened small intestine. Treatment of underlying conditions. Treating the underlying condition that is causing fat malabsorption, such as celiac disease or Crohn's disease, may help improve the absorption of fats.